In short, we accomplished what we set out to do, to ensure that pastors and churches are free to teach and operate consistently with their faith. if that same young woman were counseled to literally feel comfortable in her own skin, that would be labeled child abuse and she could be taken out of the home. The spaghetti supper test is, is laughable if it weren't so frightening. I mean, Christians, for example, worship a God who fed the hungry, healed the sick, and commanded us to care for the poor. So everything that churches do, when they love their community and reach out to the community and invite the community in, is fueled by that faith. And we don't want government bureaucrats telling us when it might be considered secular as opposed to religious. Churches are sacred spaces and should be treated as such.